Ren Ningning is a wealthy Chinese businessman who has become one of China's biggest horse collectors. He travels to auctions around the world, like this one in Australia, where thoroughbreds can sell for more than $100,000 Australian. At age 60, the concrete and machinery magnate hopes that in his lifetime, he'll see China's racing industry take off. My dream and my hope is that China's own racing and jockeys will be seen in international racing, that our own jockeys will be in the world's top races, and that they will achieve success. Ren is one of many Chinese racing aficionados, who hope that China can build a racing industry that looks more like the U.S. or the U.K., which have big races, big prizes, and big betting. But there's one problem. Gambling on horse races is currently illegal in China. More than a hundred years ago, China did have a thriving racing scene, with a track and a clubhouse built where People's Square and Park are today. The clubhouse still stands in Shanghai. But horse racing has faded in China since its heyday in the late 19th century. And without gambling, many people believe it will go no further than abandoned tracks like this one in the city of Nanjing. Still, people like Mr. Ren have faith. We believe and we're determined. In the future, and not long off in the future, commercial racing will start. To build up a homegrown industry, Mr. Ren is organizing races and breeding what he hopes will become prize-winning Chinese thoroughbreds. When you see your horse, when you've gone through all this hard work and you watch your horse that you've trained win time after time, this is not easy, but it's an immensely proud and happy occasion. Nothing else, no other thing in life can deliver this.